Hi everybody, welcome to the next video and in this video we will talk about um, training each muscle group with a once per week workout frequency. So one of the three most common weight training frequency um, is one in which each muscle group or body part is trained just once per week. For anyone who has spent any time trying to find a workout split and schedule before this is probably the frequency you are most familiar with seeing whether or not that means a once per week frequency is actually what's best for you is something we're going to figure out now so let's take a look at a few common examples of this type of frequency one example would be monday just uh, monday you would train chest and tricep Tuesday you would train back and biceps, Wednesday off, Thursday shoulders and abs, Friday legs, Saturday off, Sunday off. Or example split two would be Monday chest, shoulders and triceps, Tuesday off, Wednesday legs and abs, Thursday off, Friday back and biceps, Saturday off, Sunday off. As you can see the example workout split um, of which there are dozens more show each muscle group and body part being trained with a frequency of only once per week and this means that each muscle group gets trained just once every seventh day which makes this a pretty low frequency form of weight training so how would how uh, would you make a once per week training frequency work the key to making a once per week training frequency work is ensuring that you provide enough of the right training stimulus during that one weekly workout to actually warrant not training that muscle group again for an entire week. You see, one of the many pitfalls of training each muscle group just once per week is that you are not training it again for another seven days. And it's very easy for your body to detrain during this time and lose whatever progress you made during that previous workout. Think about it. What happens if you stop working out for a while? You regress. Results gradually disappear and you slowly lose whatever muscle strength or performance related improvement you have made. To a lesser degree, that's exactly what can and often does happen when you wait a full week before training each muscle group again. You may end up doing enough stimulus, pro uh, ins uh, enough to stimulate progress and new adaptions during your week, but then by the time a full week passes, you have already lost those new adaptions, and you end up getting nowhere. So to make this frequency work, volume exercises, sets, and reps per muscle group would need to be high enough to allow you to maintain the progress and uh, the progress made from workout to workout which in this case is a full week to week without actually exceeding your capacity to recover um, the other program uh, the the other problem with uh, this frequency is the following the other big issue with training each muscle group just once per week is that even if you did do everything perfectly provided enough of the right training stimulus maintained all over the new adaptions made over the seven days break as, um, it is still a full week of time being wasted think about it training each muscle group once per week means you will have 52 potential progress stimulating workouts per year per muscle group in comparison if you trained with a tri uh, with a twice per week frequency more about that soon um, you would have 104 potential progress stimulating workouts per week so the double per muscle now with all else being equal which do you think has the potential to produce better faster results over the same period of time since it's pretty obvious doesn't it the point I'm getting at here is that even if you do everything right with a once per week training frequency it's still pretty tough to look at that week off 
being trained session for each muscle group as anything but an unnecessary waste of time. You could have been back in the gym stimulati uh, stimulating progress again instead of sitting around waiting for a week to pass. Not to mention there's absolutely nothing special or magical about training each muscle group once every seventh day. It's a totally arbitrary amount of time based on nothing but the fact that we happen to have seven days in a week. Seriously, it's not that it works better or has some kind of benefit, it's just that that's how many days we have in a week and it's convenient to schedule stuff in this manner. So is a once per week training frequency optimal? Based on everything I just told you, I think you already know the answer. I've said anyway, I will say it anyway. Training each muscle group once per week is the least effective weight training frequency. And no, it's not just my opinion, it's the opinion of every single qualified expert, trainer and strength coach with half a brain. And guess what? It's not just an opinion, it's a fact backed by science and real world results. Literally, um, all research and scientific studies looking at weight training frequency conclusively show that training each muscle group just once per week is the least effective way to train regardless of your goal or experience level. Can it work? Sure. Does it work? Sure. Honestly, as long as you do everything else correct, any weight, any weight training frequency can work to some degree, including this one. However, this isn't about what works and what doesn't work. This is about what works best and what works worst. And all research expert opinions and my own first-hand experience shows that training each muscle group just one time per week is just not optimal for the majority of the population. So who is a once per week frequency best suited for? Training each muscle group once per week tends to work best for the following people. First, people using steroids and drugs. Second, people with above average genetics. People whose primary goal, or third, people whose primary goal um, at the time is just to maintain the current level of muscle and strength rather than improve it any further. In that case, training each muscle group once per week should be perfectly sufficient. And fourth, advanced trainees looking to specialize certain body parts or muscle groups. This is also uh, somewhat this someone this would be suited for. Yeah? Advanced trainees looking to, speci to specialize certain body parts and muscle groups. They would train those specialized muscle groups with a better, with a higher frequency and train everything else once per week for maintenance purposes only. So I personally only recommend this workout frequency to the least two groups of that list. The first two groups would likely get better results with an improved frequency just like the rest of, of, of us. So who is a once per week frequency least suited for? Like I said, once per week training frequency is not ideal for the majority of the population. Chances are that includes you. For starters, anyone with a strength performance type goal should almost always avoid this type of training frequency like the plug. It's typically seen as being borderline useless in that area, especially in comparison to other better training frequencies. And while it can work to some degree, assuming everything else is done, wha uh, is done right, for those of us trying to build muscle, get toned or improve the way our body look in any capacity, it's just clearly not what works best. I would, recommen I would not recommend it at all. So what about the other weight training frequencies? We will talk about the other weight training frequencies in the next video. Um, and if you're more interested in must training advice for natural bodybuilders based on having worked more than two decades with uh, professional athletes, average guys, natural bodybuilders, natural powerlifters, 
then you might want to download our ebook and the link you will find below. Have a nice day.